is ABC7 News at 5. They failed at the ballot box. Now supporters of same-sex marriage are taking a new approach against Proposition 8. Good evening, everyone. Hundreds of people turned out today in the Bay Area in support of gay marriage. And while some were protesting, others came together to set a course of action to get Proposition 8 overturned. ABC 7's Tomas Roman is live in San Jose for us tonight. Tomas? Yeah, we're here at the Billy DeFrank Lesbian, Bisexual, Gay, Transgender Community Center. Now, this group behind me just finished the march. About 200 people marched in protest of the passage of Prop 8. They're still hanging around here. But other groups around the Bay Area went directly to the churches. They believe were the prime movers against uh, the gay community and actually funded Prop 8. It was a large and noisy protest. More than 500 people rallied here at Oakland's Mormon Church on Lincoln Avenue this afternoon. Many were chanting slogans like Stop Mormon Hate and Boycott Utah. The group is angry that Mormons contributed an estimated $22 million to the Prop 8 campaign. Sandy Jack came from San Francisco. I do not believe that somebody should tell me how to live my life. My parents get to get married, my brothers get to get married, but they're telling me I don't because I want to marry the same sex? That's ridiculous. Don Eaton is with the Mormon Church. We believe what we believe. We believe that marriage is, is uh, a very um, important uh, sacred relationship between a man and a woman. And we believe it's been that way since the beginning of recorded time. Eaton says that Mormons are just one of many religious groups who funded Prop 8. He also dismisses the notion that the church itself spent any money supporting Prop 8. The parishioners donated on their own. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints put zero into this. Well, leaders influence people to do things. A smaller and quieter protest was held this morning at St. Mary's Cathedral in San Francisco. There are at least two lawsuits challenging the legality and constitutionality of Prop 8. 200 members of the gay and lesbian community in Santa Clara gathered today to work out a game plan to help overturn the measure. Putting ideas on the board and and seeing and then voting on them and and it, a very democratic process. ABC7 legal analyst Dean Johnson thinks Prop 8 could be overturned. He says usually changing the constitution takes a legislative act confirmed by two thirds of the electorate or a constitutional convention. We've never had to face that argument because we've never taken away a fundamental right before. Now these members of the Billy, Frank, Billy DeFrank Community Center say they're going to meet again next week to try and cement their plans on how to go ahead to try to overturn Proposition 8. We're going live in San Jose. I'm Tomas Roman, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Tomas. Other rallies in support of same-sex marriage took place around California today, perhaps the largest in Sacramento, where about 2,500 protesters gathered on the steps of the state capitol. Many admitted feeling more passionate about the issue now than they did in the days leading up to the election. Pro-gay marriage protesters were also held, or protests rather, were also held outside churches in San Diego, Pasadena, and Orange County today. Demonstrators in Southern California accused Prop 8 supporters of using misinformation in order to get the constitutional amendment passed. There were no significant rallies in support of the same-sex marriage ban across the state today. Governor Schwarzenegger predicts Proposition 8 will eventually be repealed. I learned my messages from lifting weights. Sometimes I tried to lift the weight 10 times and I failed. But the 11th time I lifted it. I said, so I learned that you should never, ever 